Hey, good morning, guys. I did get back here uh, in the back. I waited until my son-in-law got back from uh, deer hunting. He does, uh, this is bow season here where we're at. And uh, they come back last night. <clears throat> and looking back across, so I'm standing on the pond bank. Uh, back in this field, back in this field right here, so there was three does crossed and behind them was two bucks. Big ones, he said. Of course, you know, they're all big until you... <laughs> so, he'd come back this morning and walked. Um, that's a pretty good pasture right there that's got deer comes through it. So, he's got a tree stand uh, just back, right back in behind here, back up in the tree back there. Uh, and then there's this dry branch, this creek right here, it goes up into it, and they can cross that and come in behind me here and come into the water, back behind them, you can't see the pond here, but there's a pond right here, and they can come in over here and get into the water, uh, and they cross right there all the time, so he's got in a pretty good spot. But he didn't get one yet. He's been out there twice. Went turkey hunting the other day. Uh, and he'd, he'd seen where they was at. But hadn't got anything yet. But he's still looking. Uh, <laughs> he got a, he's got a ghillie suit, which is a camouflage suit that he puts on where he's out here. You get him out there standing in the timber, you can't tell he's out there. It's pretty awesome. Pretty neat. But the, the crows, the blue jays are telling on me. And I hear a red tailed hawk out there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty neat. There he is. <laughs> uh, I just I just like listening. It's just neat. All right. I like to see that rascal. Oh, he's over in an oak tree on the other side of the pond. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ephesians 1, verse 11. And the reference is tied to it. According to Paul's evangel. According to Paul's letters. And, you know, I stick with Paul because that's who the risen Christ is come back in his glorified light and he revealed himself to Paul to Saul at the time and later became Paul and the results was the 13 letters that Paul wrote and that's what we stick with because the risen Christ didn't reveal himself in his glorified body to anybody except for Paul and he done that for a particular reason. The book of Ephesians is awesome. There's so much in it. Um, this is the book where I realize that we are being saved. No matter what we do. No matter what we do. There's nothing we can do to, to uh, change that. Nothing we can do. Because this all happened before Eonian times, when all this come together. And how awesome is that? That's just remarkable. I get to thinking about that. That's pretty good. So, Ephesians 1, 11, and the reference is tied to it. All right? In whom our lot was cast, being designated beforehand according to the purpose of the one who is operating all in accord with the counsel of his will. It's God's will. His will. Yet if children, enjoyers also of an allotment, enjoyers indeed of an allotment from God, yet enjoyers, joint enjoyers of Christ's allotment, 
If so, be that we are suffering together, that we should be glorified together also. For I am reckoning that the sufferings of the current era do not deserve the glory about to be revealed for us. And man, it's getting close, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. Which is an earnest of the enjoyment of our allotment to the deliverance of that which has been procured for the laud of his glory being endued with all power in accord with the might of his glory for all endurance and patience with joy. At the same time, giving thanks to the Father who makes you competent for a part of the allotment of the saints in light. Being aware that from the Lord you will be getting the compensation of the enjoyment of the allotment, that being justified in that one's grace we may be becoming enjoyers in expectation of the allotment of life eonian and it won't be this miserable body we got now that breaks down at the slightest little cold will it <laughs> man making known to us the secret of his will we may be becoming enjoyers in expectation of the allotment of life eonian yep making known the secret of his will in accord with his delight which he purposed in him, designating us beforehand for the place of a son for him through Christ Jesus in accord with the delight of his will, and whom we are having the deliverance through his blood, the forgiveness of offenses in accord with the riches of his grace which he lavishes on us. Hmm. <clears throat> he lavishes on us in all wisdom and prudence. Oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and untraceable his ways. For who knew the mind of the Lord? Or who became his advisor? Or who gives to him first and it will be repaid him? Seeing that out of him and through him and for him is all. To him be the glory for the eons. Amen. <laughs> there it is. That is awesome. I won't add anything to that. Looks like I'm shaking that camera quite a bit. That's all right. I had to come over here on this side. Uh, I'll get me a stand put up over here. We can come back here and do them. You never know. I let this put it back this way so if anything run back there y'all could see it but you never know it's gonna be a great day i'll tell marshall we was looking at this this morning and uh this allotment in christ we had no part we had no part in obtaining it it was gave to us The allotment of life union to be ruling and reigning with Christ. Won't that be awesome? Just, just, you know, you think about that. That is something else to realize. To really realize how close we are to the end of this era. This eon is, is almost over. And each one of the members of the body Christ will be ruling and reigning with Christ. Something to think about. That's really, I ponder, I think about that a lot. But I think I'll get back up to the house. Check this out enough back here. And uh, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be good. All right. So we'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you then. Go see what God's got for us today, shall we?